Hey everybody, Scott Burnett here. Welcome back to the channel and welcome back to another video. Just finished my work day, got my hat on backwards, so that means we're going to make a video. So today we're going to do a tutorial on screen recording. So doesn't seem like a big thing, but if you want to uh, look professional and um, do things that really look good, I try to. Sometimes I fail, sometimes I can hit it. Uh, there's a free software out there that a lot of people use. A lot of people actually have YouTube channels that just focus on this one piece of software. And it's called OBS Studio. Open Broadcaster Software, if I remember correctly. So if you want to look at it right here, you can go to, you can record your screen. You can uh, record your screen without anybody. You can do that or you can just stream yourself. You can have overlays that come in, and I don't have any on this setup. I had them before, where you could have a, a little uh, overlay come on the bottom with your logo or some kind of um, text or anything. Uh, but it's a neat software. Uh, I've got it working pretty good on this machine. It, um, you, if you want to record a movie to watch later, you, know, you can do that. If you have a capture card and all this other stuff. I'm streaming from my ZV-10 with my little Rode microphone here. And uh, hopefully it sounds good. Hopefully it looks good. I don't look good, but after the day I've had. All right, so let's go. I have a virtual machine. It's brand new, created just a minute ago. Windows 10. This works Windows 10, Windows 11, Linux, and Mac OS. So, and all you have to do is go download. I'll show you where the download is, and there'll be links in the description. All right, so I've got my virtual machine pulled up. Now, this is not a stout machine. It's just created it a little while ago. Um, so I have the OBS Studio installer here. I'll show you. We'll go to OBS Studio on their website. Let's see, OBS Studio. Open Broadcaster Software. And as you see right here, here's your uh, download page, or you can get everything here. You got Windows, Mac, and Linux. Uh, the version right now, the latest release is 27.2.4. Uh, there's a version 18 out in like beta or whatever. This is uh, August 22nd of 2022. But it should, they show you the features. Um, you can make it as professional as how much time you want to spend in it. Uh, I've done some neat little tweaks with it and stuff, and it's it's fun to play with. And I mean, it's pretty neat. But uh, so you download this. It's not a huge file. I got it right here on the desktop. I'm gonna double click. Why? Well, yes, I'd like to. And you'll just next, next, next. It'll go through the install. Now, once you get done, it'll say launch, and then you go in, and it'll do a little um, setup to where it will detect the settings of your machine. And I'll uh, tell you the maximum that you can stream or record. Uh, they also have a virtual camera where you can bring your webcam, DSLR, whatever camera, your phone, in, you can manipulate that image and make it look the way you want, turn on virtual camera, then you can use that image to be in your uh, Google Meet, Microsoft Teams, um, WebEx, Zoom, whatever. I mean, it's pretty neat. Okay, now it says launch. I'm going to launch it. And it should open up into, here's the auto configuration wizard. You can optimize for streaming, recording, or use the camera, which I will be recording. We'll hit next. Next, now it's going to go through and test your machine to see what, it, uh, what it'll do. This being a low-end virtual machine on very modest hardware, we'll see what it'll do. On the Mac, when you run on a VM, it, it's like you're on a real machine, man. It's 
it doesn't matter if it's virtual or not. So, all right, there we go. High quality, medium file size. The output's kind of small, but this being a virtual machine, yeah. we're going to apply the settings. All right. So now, as you can see down here at the bottom right, I hope you can see it. I hope my image is not covering up. It, uh, it's using quite a bit of CPU, but here is the user interface for OBS. So down the bottom left, you see scenes. Now we're going to right click on this scene and we're going to rename. Now you can have however many scenes as you want. I mean, you can sit and flip through all of them. I got four on mine, but you can have 10. Uh, we're going to say screen capture. Cap, T-A-U-R-E. All right, we have a scene that is screen capture. We need a source for that. And we need a display capture. Now you can have audio inputs, colors, browsers, images you can set little images all over the screen whatever you want um, video capture devices cameras uh, capture cards you have all kinds of stuff we're going to do a display capture now it's going to say display one now if you have three displays you can have three scenes and you can go display one two and three with it and you can choose whichever one you want. Okay, now you can see I am capturing the screen. Now if I if I go down here to hit record, I'll start recording. Now it's probably gonna tell me I'm overloaded. Yeah, I'm a little overloaded, but it'll be fine. And then I can open my browser and I can capture my browser. I can capture any application that's running. Uh, well, you don't wanna watch the news today. Ugh. But, um, so we'll do that. We'll close that and then we will stop recording. And it's going to tell me that the recording is saved to my videos file. Now you can, or folder, you can save that to a network share. You can save it to whatever folder you want, uh, whatever drive you want. It doesn't matter. So you go here and look in your videos folder. Come on. And there's my file, and it is 333 kilobits. So, I mean, you can have a, a 10 minute video and it'd be 150 megs. It's pretty neat. Pretty neat. So, go back to here, and here we are. So anyway, I hope that shows you. There'll be links in the description. I'll actually type out a step-by-step -step how-to and I hope that helps everybody out. I hope you, I hope you do it and, in, and learn how to use it. And I hope you enjoy it. I really do. So that's tonight's video. I hope everybody's had a great day. It being a Monday, I'm not so sure. But uh, I hope you had a great weekend. And uh, subscribe to the channel. Hit that like button. Leave me a comment. If you use OBS or um, any other screen capture software, let me know. I'd like to know down in the comments. But uh, anyway, that'll end it. So hope everybody's having a great day and a great afternoon. And until the next video, thanks for watching.